Hello everyone, today I'm testing another continuous waste automotive oil distillation machine. Just switched it on. There's no production yet. The unit is still gaining some temperature. I set it up for 400 degrees Celsius. Now we can see it's 200. 260 so it's climbing up and at about so uh, technically it's already supposed to start generate some vapor and we'll see later for now it's only gases coming out so that's mean uh, this cooler is not filled up with any liquid yet so we'll wait and see what's gonna happen next. So I carry on my distillation. Now you can see uh, here we got some burnt gases. The gases that actually been produced during the distillation is a pump. Uh, here's some particulate filter. We can uh, cool down this uh, vapor and tune it into good petrol fraction. I do have some here on the bottom, you can see, but a lot of it just getting burnt as you can see. Anyway, here's another kerosene-like fraction coming from this separator and breather that actually connects the actual reactor with the atmosphere through the bitumen separator now what we've got here our distillation temperature is our oil honestly just wasted some oil because this particular unit is slightly different from the previous one and it's new for me as well so I just took time to understand how the bloody things working anyway uh, is our distillation temperature 408 actual temperature of the reactor and uh, control unit is set up to 410 Celsius now actual production is here Again, now I'm processing, not I am processing, the unit processing um, used automatic transmission fluid, some fluid, so it's easier for me, I can run some used oil, like automotive, some oil, but I prefer the transmission one, it's just easier and simpler for me, from my point, from my side. Now, that's it for now. So this is the unit. Now for those people who would say like you do need some oil preheating, is we've got oil supply and this oil is preheated by the waste oil that coming out of the unit now I don't have anything coming out because I just recently had some water bubble explosion that forced some oil out of the reactor but anyway the oil is still with water despite of being settled for for a month probably a few weeks for sure but anyway everything's running fine 